If you're like me, you probably play the violin with a shoulder rest, but if you're like a parent or if a beginner starting out on the violin, uh, you really struggle on putting the violin shoulder rest on your violin. So today's video, I'm gonna be exploring how to make it really easy for you to put on the shoulder rest. Stick around to the end of the video. You don't wanna miss it. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. So how do I put this onto this? That is the question we're going to be exploring today. If you're a beginner, you might have something like a Kuhn shoulder rest or some kind of Bon Musica or maybe Everest shoulder rest on the violin. Uh, I'm gonna be using a Mach 1 because it's the shoulder rest that I use and uh, I'm gonna go step by step, so please follow along. So the first tip I have for you is to ob observe the, the curvature of your shoulder rest. And you'll notice right over here that you wanna make sure that the shoulder rest is curved downwards, that the longer side is away from you. So what that means is that when you put the shoulder rest on, the shorter side is gonna be near the chin rest and the longer side is gonna be away from you. So that way this longer side is gonna be filling in the gap between your instrument and the shoulder so that way you get a good support system over here. And the second tip is uh, kind, of a, kind of a fun one. And let's say you have the violin facing you. Uh, it's easier for you to put on the shoulder rest if the logo, and you'll find like a, like a logo of any kind of shoulder rest brand facing you. And that'll be really easy for you to kind of determine what the size or what side uh, you put the shoulder rest on. And in this case, I have the Mach 1 logo right over here. It's kind of an older model. I don't know if they have it updated, but just, just by using this um, as a reference, it fits really nicely with the curvature of my instrument. Once you figure that out, you wanna make sure you put the shoulder rest on the instrument. So it's not gonna be just like a detachable kind of thing. You're gonna to have to use these, uh, these little shoulder uh, these little shoulder arms over here on the side of the instrument and you're gonna slide it on. So what I like to do, I like to put the bigger side on first and then I slowly slide the smaller shoulder into the violin. So, and once I've established that, then I put the then I, then I readjust, right? So once I have it on the violin, I could just slide it back and forth as such. Up, oh, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> so let me put it back on again. So number one, uh, determine what kind of shoulder rest you have, find the logo um, on the shoulder rest and make sure that the shoulder rest logo is facing you. So um, in this case, in my point of view, it's gonna be facing this way, but for you, it's gonna be for the sake of the video, you see the logo and then you put it on as such. So you're gonna put the bigger part of the shoulder rest, you're gonna stick that on, and then you're gonna slide the smaller part of the shoulder rest and then adjust accordingly. And if all goes well, the shoulder rest should be on, in the right place and it should be the right size. And for whatever reason, if it's not fitting on your violin, some shoulder rests, not all, but some shoulder rests are able to adjust the width and as you can see here, this Mach 1 has like these little holes and I could adjust it on both sides if I really wanted to. Uh, that's something that you can explore and you can maybe talk to your teacher or even experiment a little bit and see what works. There you have it. That's how you put a shoulder rest on a violin. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. Again, this channel is all about how to tutorial violin videos. I also post some vlogs. Um, and it also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.